Hi everyone, welcome to my gardening channel, Annabelle in the Garden. I'm Annabelle. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bulb lasagna in a container which can be outside your house from um, right from now in the autumn into up, right up until May next year. What I've done is I've already filled this container um, just, under, just under half full with some multi-purpose compost. Um, and I've mixed it with a little bit of um, grit, which I got from the garden center. Um, and now I'm gonna start um, by putting in some bulbs which will flower latest next season. What I'm gonna start with is tulips and alliums because they will flower in April and May next year. So I'm gonna take my tulip bulbs and these are red tulips um, called National Velvet. Um, and I'm gonna place them just a little way in in a circle around, all the way around, like this. And then I'm gonna take my allium bulbs and I'm gonna put some in the center. So the allium bulbs are a bit shorter and they are a white allium um, and uh, they're called Graceful Beauty. They're a little bit shorter than the tulips, so although I'll put a few in the centre, I'm also going to put a few around the outside so that they come up outside the tulips. Like this. So I've got red in the centre with the white alliums um, dotted amongst them, and these will be coming up and flowering in April and May next year. The next layer, I'm going to put on another layer of compost. The next layer will be daffodils um, or narcissus. They flower in uh, March and April. And um, for a winter container like this, I don't want anything too tall and I want something that flowers fairly late in the season. So I've chosen two rockery narcissus type um, daffodils. Uh, the first one is called um, tete a tete it has a beautiful scent to it and it comes up at about 20 centimeters tall so I'm going to put those around um, again like the tulips and then I've got a tiny little narcissus daffodil called baby moon which is a little bit shorter than the tete-a-tete. -tete. It's about 15 centimetres. And that is what I'm going to put, put around the outside. So keep doing your layers. One final layer. This will be a layer for the snowdrops. Um, you can also add to your snowdrop layer um, some um, grape hyacinths or an, a little short early flowering iris called Iris reticulata, which is really pretty. Um, that is a purple coloured flower, but I'm going to keep it quite purist and I'm going to stick with um, the whites. So I'm going to scatter in a selection of um, snowdrop bulbs and white grape hyacinth called, um, grape hyacinth is called Venus. There we go. So scatter those. And then you just need to make sure you've left enough room on the top um, because if like me, you want to use your container in the winter, you want to um, have enough room left at the top to put in some winter bedding plants. Uh, and then on the top of that, I'm just going to put a collection of um, winter interest plants. So I've got some trailing ivy. I've got a pretty variegated grass to put in the center. And I've got some really pretty little white and yellow violas.
So there we go, that's your winter container all planted up and ready to go. Thank you for watching my tutorials. For more gardening tutorials, don't forget to look at Annabelle in the Garden on YouTube.